Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back. I do hope everyone's staying safe and well. I'm back with another regular book presentation video. And I have five books for you today. Um, here they are. And actually, these books are from the book haul batch I did or which I have purchased from some months ago which included the gothic books I presented from the last video. So actually, I have three classics here and two of them are considered as modern classics. So, I want to start with the book I'm most excited to have. Um, it's Patrick Suskind's Perfume, Story of a Murderer. Um, if I were to tell um, what my all-time favorite movie is, it would be the 2006 movie adaptation of this novel, which stars my love, Ben Whishaw, and Dustin Hoffman, and Alan Rickman. The first time I saw that movie, I was in my third year in college. And I remember I was very obsessed with it. I was very fascinated by that movie. I think I have seen it at least three or four times already since I saw it first. And I remember really being in love with that scene with Jean-Baptiste and the plum girl and it was actually my desktop wallpaper for my laptop for quite some time can you still remember your desktop wallpaper back in college let me know in the comments and maybe we'll have a laugh about it so this is um, the penguin modern classics edition with a mint spine which is a favorite of mine. I love the mint spines of these books. And also, look at this cover. I'm just covering some areas, but look at that. This is actually um, a detail of The Sleeper by Jean-Jacques Henel. Um, and so perfect right so originally written in german this was first published in 1985 and is tagged as a historical fantasy novel it was said that this story was inspired by the real life story of the 19th century spanish serial killer named Manuel Blanco Romasanta, who is known as the Tallow Man and also the werewolf of Aliaris because he believed himself to be a werewolf. So Romasanta was Spain's first recorded serial killer and he killed several women and children, sold their clothes, and extracted their body fats in order to create high quality soap. If you've seen the movie, you definitely recognize this as Jean Baptiste's style, except that instead of high quality soap, he would later create the most perfect and most beautiful perfume ever created. On screen is the first edition cover, the title still in German, and features a detail from an 18th century painting called Jupiter and Antiope.
next we have another penguin modern classics edition um with a white spine this time uh jean reese white sargasso see if you have read jane Eyre, you have to check this one out this is supposedly a prequel for the bronte novel um, Jean Rees was inspired by Jane Eyre, and so she wrote this one. This reimagines Mr. Rochester and his marriage to his first wife, Bertha, who is a Creole heiress. Published in 1966, this is considered as a feminist and anti-colonial response to um, Bronte's novel. This has post-colonial themes like racism and displacement and actually I just saw that there are several videos that feature critical readings of this novel here in YouTube so you can check them out in case you're interested. Reese, who was living in a slum neighborhood in England, completed this novel in 1964, two years before its publication, when she was 74 years old. So the income from the book sales definitely helped her move to a better home. On screen is its first edition cover. Next, I have two Brontes here. Um, let's start with Villette first by Charlotte Bronte. And this one is in the Old Penguin Classics edition with the orange spine. And let's see um, which year this was published. Oh, this is actually the penguin english library edition the old version and um this came out in eight no it's 1982 so this is a 1982 penguin english library copy First published in 1853, this is Charlotte's third novel. This was preceded by her novel Shirley and was followed by the publication of her novel The Professor. After um, several publishers rejected Charlotte's The Professor, she went on to write this novel, Villette, which is actually a reworking of the professor um i haven't read this yet but from what i know the setting is a gothic one also the writer george Eliot actually prefers this one over jane eyre and virginia wolf considers this one as Charlotte's finest novel.
another Bronte we have for this video is Anne Bronte's The Tenant of Wildfell Hall in this very beautiful Wordsworth Classics edition. I love these editions as well. So here it is. So Anne Bronte only wrote two novels. This one, which is her final novel, and the other is called Agnes Grey. While her sister Charlotte used the pseudonym Kerbel, Anne wrote under the name Acton Bell. Um, first published first published in 1848. This was actually considered as the most shocking out of all Bronte novels. Some literary critics actually considers this as one of the first feminist novels ever written and I have yet to read my first Anne Bronte and although I already have a copy of Agnes Grey, I would like to have this as my introductory piece for Anne Bronte's work. The last one in this video, we have Elizabeth Gaskell's Mary Barton in this very beautiful Wordsworth Classics edition, which features um, a painting by Herbert James Draper called Poporee. It's an, it's an 1897 painting, and look at that so pretty right i really feel that this painting is very familiar to me it feels like it's something i would see every day so you already know why i picked this in the first place i love this painting so so much the first time i saw this painting it was several years ago in tumblr i'm a tumblr baby and it's definitely something i thank tumblr for so first published in 1848 uh, Mary Barton is Elizabeth Gaskell's first novel. This was followed by her novel Cranford. The story is set in the English city of Manchester. And this paints the difficulties of the Victorian working class during that time. Gaskell wanted to represent as precise as she can the poverty that permeated industrial Manchester during that time. Fun fact, this novel was originally titled John Barton, um, which was later changed because of the influence of Gaskell's publisher.
so that's it for today um this is my new book presentation i hope you liked it thank you very much as always for your time i'm very happy to have you and i look forward to having you again and again and again to um my next videos so for now i hope you stay safe and see you again next time. Bye-bye!